return on equity. Well, it's net income divided by equity. So for 24 and 25, equal sign, there's the net income, divided by total equity, enter. But we need more information about this change in return on equity. No problem. We can calculate net income for both years divided by the sales for both years. That's the profit margin. We can calculate asset turnover. There's the total sales divided by assets. For every $1 of assets, well, bam, we have 274 and 249 sales. Now, the equity multiplier. This tells us the leverage. That's how much debt we have as compared to equity. Equal, well, guess what? Total assets, both of those numbers have debt and equity. So when we divide it by just equity, we know for every $1, there's 0.45 and 0.38 more assets because we have debt. And it looks like for every $1 of sales in 2025, we have less net income and we're generating fewer sales for every $1 of assets. And guess what? We also have less debt. Well, we can test this equals, we're going to multiply profit margin times asset turnover times equity multiplier and bam, we get the exact same thing. The components of return on equity, bam, they help illustrate more completely why we had a drop.